Now it is my honor to introduce to you the class of 2023 valedictorian and one of my best friends, Cambolino. Hi, y'all. It's a privilege to be standing here as valedictorian. Um, I want to congratulate our salutatorian and one of my best friends, Kaylee, and the rest of the top 10 on all of your hard work. Now I want to talk to you all about the most important person in my life, Jesus Christ, and how he has changed my life. Before I understood who Jesus is, my life was very confusing to me. On the one hand, I had some really good gifts. Academics and foreign languages came pretty easily to me. I had a great family and awesome friends. On the other hand, things were kind of confusing. The things that I was seeing and hearing in the world didn't make sense. I knew that I was very self-centered and I struggled to find happiness. But then I learned that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and therefore he is the true king of the human race. Where his rule and reign is allowed, humans thrive. Where he is not allowed to be king, there is brokenness and suffering. But I also learned that he loves me so much, all of us, in fact, that he died on the cross in our place, and three days later he rose again, paying the penalty for us not allowing him to be king in full. When I changed my mind and I made Jesus the king of my life, he completely changed me. I was filled with a peace and a joy that I had never experienced before. I no longer had a sense of dissatisfaction and restlessness about my life. I started to become measurably less and less self-centered and the things that I was seeing and hearing in the world started to make sense. In fact, even though winning this contest for valedictorian feels so awesome, it cannot compare to the joy that Jesus has brought into my life. What Jesus has done for me, he does for anyone that accepts him as their personal king. All you have to do is admit that you have not allowed him to be the king of your life. Believe that his death, burial, and resurrection completely pays the penalty for that decision and confess him as your savior and lord i encourage you all to make that decision today if you want to know more i invite you to visit my church northeast houston baptist church it's right by our school across the street from iguana joe's thank you for listening to me today i hope you remember what i've said to you I wish you all nothing but the best in your future.